Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, it's been a while, a few months, right? And so I've got a lot of stuff <laughs> to show you, starting with these pansies here. So this is about mm, a third of the pansies that I grew. These are the ones that I have left over. Um, these are the sort of weaker ones in the batch. Um, and then I also planted some in the containers, so that one and that one. And then um, over here as well, lots of pansies. Uh, I had some chrysanthemums that lasted through the winter. I just stored them in the garage and they still lasted, so that worked out. And there's some more chrysanthemum down there. And some of the weaker pansies from the first batch of pansies that I had, I put down there. All right, so next up is what's inside in the living room. So over here are some begonia bulbs that I planted. And I don't really have very good luck with begonias for whatever reason. But a couple of them are coming up now. So you can see there and there, over here. So, you know, a few of them are coming up. And that's nice. That's nice to see. I, I honestly didn't expect too much out of these. Um, this is just a table where I put some plastic down because I just don't want to ruin the tabletop. So next is this Coral Bells, which uh, was overwintering outside, but then I brought it inside because I just wanted it to flush out a little bit before I put it outside, and it's going to take a while if it's just sitting out there in its pot. Um, Scent of geranium. This one smells like uh, ginger or apricot or something like that. Then two quince starts that I started um, from quince seeds uh, that were given to me by my neighbor. And the guavas that I planted last year. And, you know, they've suffered a little bit inside the house, but they're not doing too badly. Um, and then over here on the left-hand side as well, this is the lemon tree that I grew from seed last year. So it looks pretty nice. Um, these two, and uh, over here, this one as well, those are all oxalis. Um, I'm just separating the oxalis that I have because they they grow so sort of profusely um, that I just didn't want to have, like, the craziest, most overgrown pot ever. So those are going to go to whoever wants them, really. Uh, and then the other thing here is the canna bulbs. So I... I guess they're rhizomes, right? Not bulbs? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. So over here I have just a whole lot of canna bulbs that I pulled from the garden last year. I started with two bulbs last year, and this is what I have now. So if that gives you any indication of how easy it is to grow cannas, like there you go. So most of these I would say are gonna go away because they're orange and yellow, and I really only have space for maybe one or two of these. And although I do like them, I just don't have too much space. Um, these three though, on the other hand, are, they're sort of shorter. They're uh, pink cannas and they're gonna go in a window box this year. So I'm excited about that. Now we're in the kitchen. So over here I have a Hoya and a bunch of beans and stuff. And that Hoya I started from cuttings. And then over here, next to the compost, and, you know, sorry about the mess, there's a little bit of soil and stuff down here, but over here I have another Hoya that I actually got from Mother. She gave me some cuttings. And then here I have my grapefruit, and that's the smaller one, is the grapefruit, and the lime that I started from seed last year. So those are looking pretty nice. Just keeping them over here. I staked this one with a little gall. So we'll see if the wasp comes out of that. <laughs> anyway, back to the seedlings. So here I have um, a bunch of petunias. These are all yellow wave petunias. I'm doing sort of like a yellow, orange, red, pink type theme, like very hot colors. So that's going to be interesting. Um, over here are some orange million bells. That's going to be really nice. And then here I have a whole bunch of calendulas. These are all just orange calendulas. And again, I think I'll probably have to give a lot of these away, but I'm gonna try and find as many spots as possible for them in the garden. 
that I can. All right, so next is, this is sort of my impromptu grow room. I have a, this is really gross, uh, but over here I have one of those fly traps and it's just got a million fungus gnats on it. It's crazy, but uh, you know, I this year I decided I was gonna try Jiffy Mix. Honestly, it, it didn't impress me. I usually use like Mir Miracle Grow, I guess, as a seed starter, but everything sort of pointed me in the direction of Jiffy Mix this year and I don't think I'm gonna do that again because the seedlings just didn't end up as strong. And also I had like a bajillion fungus gnats. It was really, really annoying. Anyway, back to the seedlings. Uh, up here I have a whole bunch of red petunias that I just recently outpotted. Some of them are still pretty small, but I figured I should just do the whole pack um, while I was at it. Of course, all of these I started from seed, but they were in a pack like this. So, you know, I wanted to get them all out of there. Uh, then I have a couple of different types of pepper here. So different hot peppers and like you'll see here that they aren't doing like they didn't do very well in the Jiffy Mix at all. Like the leaves look all weird and mottled because they came out of the ground like just not looking good. I don't know how to explain it. But um, so anyway, I repotted them in some uh, potting mix now. So they are starting to take off a little bit more, but this one is still not looking great. Um, these tags I made out of uh, an old binder <laughs> that I had. Um, anyway, I'll tell you what I have here. So first of all, up here I've got some verbena that's starting. Um, again, it's in Jiffy Mix and as you can see, I planted probably a thousand seeds in here and uh, we've got one there and one over here and it's just yeah i'm not very impressed um this doesn't happen to me normally i'm usually like very good at seeding so yeah anyway then i've got shabu shabu pepper uh seven pot bubblegum peach pepper uh yellow fatali pepper an aps ghost pepper and this one's an orange one aps stands for atlantic pepper seeds if for anyone wondering, I bought about nine varieties this year from them. And um, yeah, I have no doubt that the seed quality is very good. Um, it literally is just the Jiffy Mix. So to give you more of an example, over here, this is a Thunbergia. This is out of 18 cells that I planted of Thunbergia, I got one to come up in Jiffy Mix. So I'm starting again with miracle Grow, and we'll see what happens. But it's crazy. I've never had that happen before. Um, down here is Wizard Mixed Coleus under the lights. And so it has the window in the back, but also the light. So there are just a variety of different coleuses. Again, I just planted the super small ones just to get rid of the cell pack. But I think out of these, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna keep yet. I really like this color. Uh, sorry, it's hard to get that in focus there. I really like that color and I like the pink and green, but I also, I'm starting to really like this type as well. So we'll see what happens. Okay, next one down. Uh, now there's no window in the pack uh, and you can see some fungus gnats. Uh, down here. So everything down here is in Jiffy Mix. What we have over here is basil. This is just a, a sort of regular basil. <laughs> I don't remember what the variety is right now. Um, then we've got two more geraniums. And in the back there is actually, uh, we went to a Thai restaurant, a uh, Vietnamese rather, restaurant, and they gave us a huge sprig of Thai basil. And I said, I'm never gonna eat this, like this whole thing with this meal. So I just brought it home and put it in some soil and as you can see, it is now flowering, which is kind of funny. Um, what else we have here are some cuttings that I took from a coleus that I grew last year that I really liked. 
And then night scented stock, I've never grown that. I think I'm just gonna put it in the ground and see what it does. Uh, this is Thymophila, Thymophila, yes. And um, that makes these like little yellow flowers. They kind of look like asters, I guess, um, but they're yellow. And they look really good in a hanging basket. So I'm gonna do one hanging basket of Thymophila and we'll see what happens. Then over here, uh, I have Scabiosa. That was given to me by a friend of the family. And those are all coming up really nicely. And then some Euphorbias. These are the Snow on the Mountain Euphorbia. And some more Thai Basil. This is the Siam Queen variety. I heard it was really good, so I got that. And it looks like it's doing pretty well. And then some four o'clocks. And again, Jiffy Mix, four of these four o'clocks haven't come up and four o'clocks are like the most prolific plant you can possibly grow. Like there's no reason for this. So yeah, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> and finally on the bottom, this is a lot of stuff that I have decided to regrow because the Jiffy Mix just screwed it up so much. Although there is one thing of Jiffy Mix in there. I'll just take it off the top. Okay, so first of all, it's on a heating mat, this one. And I have, am keeping the, the dome on just to keep the humidity up in here since everything's just starting. Um, so over here I have three varieties of pepper that didn't end up making it. So it's a Carolina Reaper. It's a yellow one. This one is the pink habanero that I was really excited about and I just really hope it does come up. And then the boot jalokia white. So hopefully those three come, come up in the miracle grow. I think they will. I don't see why they wouldn't. Then over here are some more thunbergia that I decided to regrow. Those I just planted recently. Then I've got two beefsteak tomatoes. Um, and a cherry tomato. The cherry tomato I'm keeping, but the beefsteak are for my neighbor. And then I have a ground cherry. No movement on that yet. Uh, Turk's turban squash and a Burgess butternut squash. A uh, but Burgess buttercup, rather, not butternut. And then these are some ornamental peppers that I grew last year that I really liked. And since they're in the Jiffy Mix, I don't know if they'll make it, but we'll see. If even one of them makes it, then that's enough for me, probably. Over here, uh, I planted this interesting millet. It is, what's it called? The Jade Princess Millet, so that should be interesting. And then here is some Sata Datura, which is just, it's a really nice, um, like, white Datura. I grew some Datura last year, and, um, it was a uh, double white and I really didn't like it. It kind of came out sort of brown looking, if that makes sense. Anyway, it just wasn't the best. So I figured I'd start new this year. And again, I only recently planted these um, because of the Jiffy Mix issue. Um, and then finally over here, I have salvia growing. This is a really pretty uh, red salvia that I'm quite excited about. No growth yet. And then down here, I have some more Thunbergia right here. And this is a Carolina Reaper. Uh, oh, this is the red one. It's going to be a longer pepper. And then this is Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Satan variety. We're going to try that one this year. And finally, some Tequila Sunrise Columbine. So that's pretty much all that's going on for seedlings here. Uh, quite a lot. I wish it were more. I actually ordered more seeds, but they didn't come because COVID. Uh, and, uh, you know, more things will be added to this collection. And hopefully if the nurseries open up at some point this year, then I'll get even more stuff. And I'll try and keep you updated, but, you know, no uh, promises there. Things get kind of crazy around here all the time. So... Yeah, hopefully 
I will update you. I will try. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya!